Hey guys, today we have a model that's here all the time. Uh, we have a video like that uh, from before, uh, but it's kind of old now and we now got a better camera uh, to make a better video. So I'm gonna show you how to replace a jack on a Samsung laptop. Uh, Samsung NP470R5E K02UB470R. Right, so it looks like that, like that, and the broken jack is right here. That means the jack is broken. You see those pins? The pins mean the jack is broken. And we are at powerjackrepair.net. We fix those for 100 bucks total. Increase the labor, the parts, and the shipping back to you, or 60 bucks if you send us just the motherboard. So let's begin. So, seems like somebody already took it apart before. So, Alright, uh, there should be a screw here on top, but instead it's under it for some reason, but anyways. Alright. Here we just move that. Up, up, up. And up one time. Okay. Okay. All right. Right, somebody screwed around here before because they had to put the solid state disk in because kind of was moving inside. Now let's continue with the rest. Here we do this guy. That guy. Okay. Okay. One must go right here. Everything seems to be out. And I want to put my glasses on because there's usually a bunch of dust flying out. And let's try and try it out. Try it open like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. Yeah. 
Okay. What do we need to check is for the board not to be cracked because sometimes it gets cracked all right here. So now let's rotate it so you will see better what's going on. Now disconnect the battery. All right. And disconnect the LCD LED cable. So like that. Like that. screws then do we need to unscrew the battery it's kind of in a way so Now, this hinge seems to be a little bit tricky. Let's see if we can move it up. up. Without breaking it. Or it might sharpie, yeah. Get a bit sharpie, but yeah. like that. And this can make up like that. Like that. Okay. Disconnect this guy. Like that. So what I'm doing and I'm holding the bottom portion in place and I'm just raising the top up. Like that. Alright. Okay. Let's move this guy up like that. And Okay, like that. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, like that. And like that. Okay, so that's the board out. Alright, again, if you're just gonna send it just the motherboard, you can take the uh, heatsink off. And uh, basically, once you take the heatsink off, you can send it just the board. Again, it's gonna be 60 bucks. The jack for this laptop is right here. Should be exactly the same thing. Alrighty. Here on the top we have one of the pieces missing. And I'm not sure if this needs a little bit more soldering. Let's test and see if it's conducting the electricity. Okay. All right. So what else we do here is we need to make sure that everything around the jack is insulated from the heat, because uh, it's a tricky jack to take apart with the soldering iron. You can do it, and we can do it. Anybody can do it. It's just for the sake of filming, we have to do it a little bit faster, because the client is outside in the car waiting for it to be completed. 
So I'm just gonna do what I do. Okay. Alright. That. Like that. Alright. Okay. So let's maybe locate it to the southern chamber.
All right, so we did replace the jack, and now we have to put everything back together. Again, now if you send just the motherboard, it's going to be 60 bucks. That includes the labor, the parts, and return shipping back to you. So here, you want to make sure all the cables are out, like that, like that. Now. So this is basically the final product, the new jack is installed. Again, we, ja we got jacks for every single laptop make and model. Fine. This goes in just fine. No, nope, not fine. Hold up like that. It should be the line should be aligned with the uh, the line on the cable should be aligned with the hinge. This we remove. Plug in the cable in there and close the fastener. Now we.
Alrighty. Again, if the if the video was useful to you in any way, just leave a like. Uh, we would really appreciate it. So, here what we need to do else? Well, first of all, make sure that nobody else screwed around with the with the heat sink. That's all good. I'll connect the battery. Connect. Drop the battery in. I need to shut down the exhaust. Okay. So, like that. Now, I want to put the screw here. Alright, make sure it's torqued on the lowest setting. Like that. Like that. Uh, like that. Okay. And right here. And one right there. Another one right here. And there we got one more right here. And one more right there. Okay, so now we put the bottom cover on, make sure this cable is out of the way, make sure the memory chips are all intact, and uh, I want to put some tape right here because those guys sometimes can rub onto the casing and short the casing, I mean short the, short the board itself, so here, like that. Now we put it like this. Okay, so make sure the touchpad is connected, the the battery, the keyboard, the fan. The left side is not that important, but still make sure everything is connected. Now is a good time to also to tighten the screws for the hinge because sometimes the screws are getting close with time. So let's take that. And let's close it down like that. Okay. Okay. So, cover this guy here, cover this guy there, and now the thing is, this guy is basically missing the screws for the cover, so um, let's see if I got a screw or something to, to, to make sure it's kind of being held in place. Maybe I have, maybe I don't, but who knows. Anyways, you can pretty much finish right now uh, watching because uh, I mean, it should power up and work. Which we're gonna test in a second, I just wanna double check. Okay, let's open up. Yeah. Alright, I got something really fat and big, but
guys when you are upgrading the hard drive make sure to attach the screws from the other hard drive to your new hard drive here yeah, this should be it no 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 No, even even bigger. Well, all right then. How about this one right here? Let's see what we got. Yeah, we got a winner. And now, one screw. We're gonna hold everything in place, and we got a space right there for that one screw. So let's see if we're gonna be able to find one more so that it would be really nice and tough let's see if this guy is gonna fall, fall in from this side yeah. nah. I don't think much better than like this one let's see okay we got one here yeah, okay. So now we're gonna cut a hard drive that's not gonna wobble around in place. So yeah, let's connect the the hard drive cable. Let's put this guy in there. And we have uh, I mean what's the point of those screws if the hard drive inside was pretty much loose. So yeah, let's magnetize it a little bit here, like that, and if you decide to ship it to us, then if you're sending just the motherboard, don't include the power supply, if you're sending the whole laptop, also, we don't really need the power supply here, but uh, if you want to send it along, that's fine. Okay, so here we got this guy here. Okay, and let's close it down like that and like that. And this is not even from this opera, but let's see. Okay. Well, let's see if this thing gonna work. Again, powerjackrepair.net or uh, powerjackrepair.org. Or G. Okay. So. Let's take a look. The battery is charging right there. It says five percent charging, and we want to power it up. And we got Samsung logo. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Leave a like, please, 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 and uh, send it our way. If if you're in Chicago, you could just stop by. It's gonna take an hour to fix it. Thank you.